The government continues to place efforts on young people. This is the assurance from Minister of Youth Development, Foster Cummings, who says offering business opportunities is one way of keeping youths out of a life of crime. If we get our young people involved in more productive activity and create more opportunities for them and get them off the street and get them involved in training programs and equip them for the place of work and business, you think we'll have less of them on the street available to the persons who are involved in, in, in criminal activity to be able to recruit them? Cummings also lauded entities like NEDCO, which is also providing opportunities to small entities. To date, almost 4,000 grants have been given to various businesses. Cummings was speaking at the launch of the micro and small business grant held on Tuesday. And as much as people want security, they are also concerned about their privacy. And according to Carl White, president of the U.S.-based company Guelph Group, there must be that balance of ethics and artificial intelligence. And with this advent of AI, it raises important ethical considerations around privacy and transparency. White further notes that no one wants to be constantly watched. As much as we want security, we also are concerned about our privacies. We want to make sure that we're safe, but Big Brother is not watching all the time. However, White says, the good news is that recent regulations highlighted the need for responsible AI use. White was speaking at day two of the Canto conference held on Tuesday. And now for a look at today's energy and forex prices. Geisha Kaula Alonso, CNC3 Business Watch.